Hello, hello, beautiful Lovetarians. Welcome to the Lovetarian Way Show. And today, ba -bum, it's the season's finale. I've been so, so happy to serve you for now. It's been 10 episodes and we had a lot of fun. And today we're going to end it with a bang. We're going to comment miracles. We're going to tell you how it's done, how to talk to the field, how to talk to the creator, creatrix within you, and let's see what is possible for us. We're going to talk about the pillars of the Lovetarian Way, and we're going to really wrap up all the episodes that we had so far, and I will leave you with a lot of empowering information, and I hope, I truly, truly hope, I trust that you will get to use it in your beautiful life, because I am here to tell you that the power the magic is within you. More over, you are the magic, okay? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So as I'm waiting for people to gather, I'm going to be um, talking about the weather. <laughs> it's very hot here in Spain. I'm on the Costa Blanca. It's a beautiful blue sky. How is England right now? On hello, Terry Louise. Yeah, who is with me already? Let's say some hellos. Tell me. Yeah, tell me. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, hi, Terry. Terry, you are from England, I think. No? Yes. Yeah, so I was saying that the weather is really gorgeous here and my brain has been really cooking incredibly this week. I have been, I was just telling Richard that it's been incredible alignment between this uh, season ending right now and my own <sighs> Lovetarian Way podcast relaunching next week. So if you're going to miss me, you can jump on next week, next Wednesday, and meet me on my own platform, thelovetarianway.com, and we can continue to have fun. However, in the meantime, I want to talk to you today about empowering pillars of the Lovetarian Way, the four foundations that will, when you really etch them in your consciousness, and mind you, they have been given to me through a series of meditation, deep trances, and they have been coming to me, through me for the last two years. And I've received them with a very powerful message that all that I need, all that any person needs to create their heaven on earth, their paradise is really inside of us if we love ourselves unconditionally. And then I received this beautiful word, the Lovetarian way, with a very strong powerful reassurance that if you love yourself absolutely 100% really without apology you stand in your authentic power you will dare to play your unique music because mind you there's nobody like Toko hello from South Africa there's nobody like Louise there's nobody like Richard nobody like Natalia we all have unique music within us and it is our responsibility to play it okay in the most authentic way. So that was the message from my guides, from my higher self, from ascended masters that I have been working with, ascended divine feminine masters of the dragon tribe. I've been talking about them in several episodes. So let me refresh if you don't know. I have been uh, initiating with uh, the mystery school of the Sophia Code, and I've been working with eight ascended masters, powerful women, and some names you will know. Mother Mary, Green Tara, Mary Magdalene, Kuan Yin, the Sophia Dragons, you probably don't know, but according to this cosmology, they are the birther of the galaxies. They are direct angels connected to our mother creatrix, and they are the ones that are birthing galaxies. This is really beautiful, con, beautiful story that I'm not going to get into it. If you're interested, reach out and get yourself a copy of the codex called the Sophia Code. It's beautiful, empowering activating living transmission directly from mother creatrix right and i am actually facilitating uh, what is called sophia circle journey so if you ever want to join me reach out to me through nataliaph.com or thelovetarianway.com and we can work together like that as well and i can help you work a little bit with uh, more with your divine feminine energies that as you know are very very powerful by the way do you know, because probably mainly ladies are here, so Kathleen I see here from Arbolias in Almeria. How oh, hello, Almeria. So you're in the south. I'm in the north of the Costa Blanca. It is very hot. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, so mainly ladies, of course, are joining the show. So 
I don't know if you know, ladies, that there are like three mer main archetypes to work with your divine feminine power. You can be the creatrix, you can be the teacher, you can be the healer. Of course, then we have the, the temptress, warriors, priestess. But those three main, main ones have been very, very present within me. And that's how I have been creating my magic and living my best life by really, truly reaching deep inside my heart, listening to what my higher self wants from me and just playing my music. So what I will say to you before everyone gathers is tune in to your own heart and hear what it wants to say to you. Because if you really get present and if you really listen and if you're going to, how do I say it? If you're going to consecrate the needs of your ego mind and align with your heart, if you allow your heart to guide you, which I believe is the seed of your soul, you will experience more miracles, more magic, more ease, if you will. Your manifestations, the life that you want is going to be flowing much, much easier, okay? And today we'll talk about, we'll talk much more about how to be more in your, you know, masculine, strong energies to really command your best life because you can actually command it. You can be very focused. You can be very organized in your intentions and the stuff happens. The stuff happens if you are going to use certain principles that this field, which I call mother, father, creatrix, creator, responds very well to but before that we have some things to do i see mary has arrived before i go into the teachings i want to guide you through as always very short hard brain coherence so we can get focused we can get aligned we can get balanced and then we will get on with it 1808 hello amalia hello 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 so let's when everyone is gathering let's take Let's do hmm, number eight is coming to me now. Hello, Andrea. Number eight. So eight deep breaths. So the way I guide the audience through hard brain coherence is like this. You're going to take deep breath in through your nose on the count of five and then exhale on the count of five like that through your mouth. And all this for what? to balance your energy field, to get very present with me, to get really focused, release all judgment, all expectations, just be here very much in the moment. And oh, side note, you will, of course, boost your immune system and you will really pump a lot of great stuff, good hormones into your brain and you will be able to focus much better as if you were just, you know, doing your laundry right now. So let's get present with the breath. Pam, hello, hello, hello. I'm not going to be saying hello now because we're going to be breathing. So breathe with me, eight breaths, okay? And then we'll continue. I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to count my own breaths. So let's begin. Hope everyone is feeling very focused, ready to receive abundantly all the goodies that are coming through me, for you, for me, for the benefit of all, to empower us and to help us, assist us in co-creating awesome, awesome life, okay? So who else have we got here? Anybody else arrived? I see some awesome ladies uh, are gathered here. Is there anybody else I did not say hello to, Richard? Yes, hi, Pat. Sorry, sorry. Yes, hi, Pat. Hi, Mick. We are very well. I saw Pat, you have a Polish name. Kaminski must have some Polish ancestors. No, I am actually Polish 
as well. Natalie Bentley, hi, I remember that name. Hello, welcome back. Hello, Marie Claire. Where are you from? Julie, do they know? No, no. Hello, Julian Cross. I remember that name too. Hi, welcome. Um, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So let's let's begin then. And if you would like to ask questions, please put them in the comments. And if you have something interesting to share, please do as well. So the topic I have chosen for our final show is commanding your miracles with the Lovitarian way, commanding it with your magic. So let's begin from what a magic is. And maybe you saw in the title of the show, I use the word, I spelled the word magic with CK. Because for me, magic with a C, it's like, you know, this Disney movie, you pull a bunny out of the hat. While magic with CK, this actually signifies, and it's an ancient way of spelling it, it signifies transformation, inner transformation really connecting with the depth, the power that is within you and truly sourcing from your divinity, activating all the power that lies dormant within you. And that is magic. And as I said at the beginning of the show, everybody has their own unique magic within them. So by that token, if we know that, if we accept to believe that, because by the way, Whatever your mind can conceive and believe, you can achieve. One of my first shows was on belief systems. And if you would like to rewatch it, please do. Because I cannot say it enough times. If you want to create an amazing life, you must believe that you can do so. You must believe that you are that powerful, that there is nobody and nothing that can stop you. You literally need to brainwash yourself and say to yourself, look in the mirror and say, you can do it, girl or a boy. Because when you can do it, you're halfway there. All the science now is showing to us without a doubt, and I'm telling you like 100%, zero doubt, Whatever you really truly believe, you start to activate powerful biochemistry in your brain and you can reprogram completely. You can reprogram, create new neural pathways in your brain and you can dismiss everything that you have learned that does not serve you. Everything that is limiting you or you rather allowed yourself to limit you. You can choose. You have a free sovereign will given to you by your creatrix, by the source. Every single person has it. There's, sorry, sorry, there's no exceptions. Every single person has it. And you can choose every single day when you wake up. It's a new day, new dawn. You say, I can do it. Whatever is on my way that I believed previous to that day stopped me. I let it go now. And I know some people will say it's not that easy. I say, well, baby, it is maybe not that easy. It is very simple. That is how it is done. And you need to, and I'm going to be showing you some things in a moment, but I just want to build towards it. You, because you need, as I said, we are dual beings. We have feminine power and we have masculine power. And those within us are like this, you know, intertwining and they are ever connected and ideally they need to be balanced. This divine feminine energy is the creativity, is the intuition, is this chaos, beautiful inspiration. And then you've got the masculine energy, that the commanding energy, the focused energy. And you can very well see how it is depicted on those little icons when you go to the bathrooms, right? You've got the arrow, the masculine energy and the cross, right? For the divine feminine. But don't get confused there for a second and think that the feminine power is weak. Oh, no, no, no. My God, that's like a tsunami of power, right? However, if you balance that energy with healthy masculine energy that is focused, directed, it's like think about this incredible ocean of energy that divine feminine is this incredible water powerful ocean and that gets streamlined into a river right and then you have at the end of the river there is your goal there is your purpose and you streamline all of this and you go for whatever it is that you want right and you are determined to 
create whatever it is that you want. So you see what I mean? So you are, the, the femininity will be there to, you have your imagination, you are swimming in this field of potential. And then with masculine energy, you will choose with clarity what it is that you want. Okay, you set an intention that is very, very clear. And then you will empower this thought, this intention with the intensity of emotion. And these two marry together. And then they will create this state of being that needs to be very high, needs to be very uh, elevated to activate, to start to communicate with this field, quantum field that we are part of, we are vibrating within. And when we are acting from such um, incredibly elevated state, we start to bend. We start to bend the waves in this field and we start to influence the non-material and it becomes start to become material more and more and more. But of course, for us to see those manifestations, to have them in our life as physical in this 3D, we need to follow a process. And I'm going to talk to you about this process now. But first, I'll ask Richard to show the, um, the pillars, the four pillars of the Levitarian Way, which is picture two. Because those are the pillars that I have downloaded from my higher self as a blueprint, as I basically the way I saw it, I'll tell you how I saw this. Um, I was floating in this incredible, vast, never ending field of consciousness, which I called mother, father, creatrix, creator, right? And in this field, we just exist. We exist as infinite potential. And we are given a power to we actually are holograms of this of this incredible field like the way we were created the way i saw it is like you are it and you are yet your own sovereign creator so you are a, a fractal right a holon of that field with the same power with the same possibility to command and create as she it is so this is not some figment of my imagination. Some might say so, but then I'll say Einstein said imagination is a preview of lives and coming attractions. And that's how I've been living my life. And I have been creating for the last 13 years and having my magic and miracles all the time. However, I have been listening to the guidance that I have been receiving. And after that, I have also done a lot of research into neuroscience, into quantum physics, new biology. And by the way, after this show is finished, I will really encourage you to go to the levitarianway.com and check the recommended resources section on my website, where you will find all those videos, all the research that I'm talking about. You will find incredible scientists who are speaking what ancient masters have been telling us for eons, what my higher self have been downloading into me for over 13 years. So, you know, when I received those first visions, I wanted to find out, I wanted to make sure that I'm not going crazy, first of all, that I'm not insane and off my rocker, because what I've been getting was exactly the opposite, what we are taught about manifestation, miracle, creating life of your dreams, I was like, what is this? So I, I didn't really know if I was okay, you know? So then I really started to research and I read, I, I swear to you, it's thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. I spent hundreds and hundreds of books, certifications, research, and all, all I found was just proof after proof after proof after proof that what I have been receiving is actually the truth. And then I've been of course, implementing all of this in my life. So now to those pillars. So the way I received it, right? I saw myself floating in this field and I am light. You are light. All of us are little lights, you know, vibrating in this field. And then we come to be, and it was represented for me in my vision as a butterfly, a butterfly that gets to transform and create whatever the butterfly wants. And the butterfly can be tiny, it can be huge, however huge it wants to be. If you want to have a small life, beautiful. If you want to have a great life, 
beautiful. It's there's no judgment. It is completely up to you to do whatever that you want to do. Forget about what other people are telling you, including myself. Of course, if you resonate that great, if you don't, you don't. However, I'm telling you 100 <laughs> percent, you have the power to live the life that your heart is whispering to you to live. You just need to dare, right? So I'm giving you kind of permission to just be as crazy as you want to be and live your life. Don't mind whatever it is that other people are telling you. Just live your life, okay? And now implement this, all of those things that I'm going to tell you about. So pillars. So the butterfly have been floating in this field and it's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I received the word the Lovitarian way. So the way I got it, it was like, okay, so you can, you come here and you need to remember how loved you are, how much love you, how much love you are to embody in your beautiful body represented by the butterfly. The more you love yourself, the more you're going to bloom, the more authentic you're going to be and play the unique music that you've got to give, the more wonderful your life is going to be seriously right and then i said okay so so how and then the pillars started to come so those pillars i depicted them as a little temple because temple for me represents like a refuge right self safe place place where i can go to and i can lean on those pillars to help me live my best life so pillar one the way I got it was about accepting 100% responsibility for my life. And what does that mean? So we are energy beings that are vibrating at certain frequency in this field that we are all weaved into and connected by in this field of Mother Creatrix Creator, right? So I have received the message that you need to really accept 100% responsibility for the energies that you are, which are consisting of your thoughts, so your mental body, your feelings, right, your emotional body, the words that you speak, and the actions that you take, anything that you actually exude and you take in. And check this out, let this sink in, because I'm not talking about 99.9% .9 responsibility, I'm talking about 100%. So be considering that we think, right, all the time, we feel things, we speak things, we, we act, right? Really, when you let it sink in, that you need to take 100% responsibility for that, and only... That's the only thing that you can really truly control. You don't need to worry about what the government is doing. You don't need to worry what about your, what your neighbor is doing. All you need to do, you don't need to worry at all. All you need to do is assume control and promise to yourself, command yourself, right? That you are going to be 100% responsible. And when you do that, you will turn into an incredible incredibly powerful creator so what does that mean okay so all the thoughts that you have adopted throughout your lifetime that no longer serve your highest and best good they do not align with your heart they do not align with what it is that you really want you need to let them go chop chop say thank you but no thank you i command you to be gone it is done it is done it is done so it is seriously Somebody will say, but it's not that easy. I'm, I have this, I have that. Well, you would like to know how to command your miracles. I'm telling you how it's done. I have been doing it and that's how it's done. And again, science confirms it. You've got to be very, very, very clean and very clear in your energies. If you want to be washy, wishy washy, that's the expression, you're very welcome to do that. Understand there is no judgment here. There are just very simple principles and pillars that I have been given, been implementing, living my magic. And it works. It works 100% if you take 100% responsibility, right, for your energies. So no talking nonsense, no talking negative, no thinking negative, no negative uh, actions, deeds, nothing. Neutral to good. Period. And again, not good because it's a judgment that something is good or something is bad. Simply, Richard, it would be a good time that you show that vibrational scale now so I can talk a little bit about 
the way that energy uh, is presented on those vibrational scales, this is actually picture number one, because this will illustrate to you that good and bad is actually a concept that had been given to us by religions, by culture. But in fact, in this field of our mother creatrix, there is no judgment such such as this, there's only energy. There's only energy and that energy vibrates at certain frequency. So there is a plus energy and then there is a minus energy. If you want to have a plus life, so to speak, right? If you wanna have what I call heaven on earth, you need to choose to align with the, those higher frequencies in your thoughts, in your feelings, in your actions, in your everything so again 100 percent responsibility for that and if you're going to do the opposite and if you're going to perpetuate shall we call them hellish frequencies well that is exactly what you're going to get in your life i think richard maybe uh had gone to um do the laundry or something but once he's back he's going to show us that vibrational scale oh there he is could you show that first picture with the spiral thank you yeah, so have a look here. Do you see what I'm saying? So now accept 100% responsibility for your thoughts, feelings, actions. This is actually very simple. It's, you know, I'm just going to say it. It's not, it's not about being sentimental. It's not about being, again, judgmental. It's not about being dramatic. Universe is pretty mathematical. It's pretty cool because when you actually understand certain laws of the universe you understand that every single thing every single thing my thought your thoughts my words this microphone everything is energy and it, it has its own frequency I, I said it many times liken it to a radio if you would like to listen to highly vibrational music at the 105 fm you cannot you know you will put the tune up right then you can't hear the music of 80.9. And the opposite is true. It's just very simple. In this case, one plus one equals two. So if you're going to be thinking thoughts that are motivated by this high, high, highly vibrational energies of joy, empowerment, freedom, love, appreciation, passion, enthusiasm, optimism, everything is gonna go up. And if you're gonna do the opposite, and start to be pessimistic, doubtful, worry, be angry and jealous and all those things. Again, it's not good, it's not bad. It is simply a blueprint that I'm giving you here. And test it, I challenge everybody to test it, okay? For the next seven days before you meet me, maybe on my podcast next week, test it. Think thoughts that are good, positive, uh, uplifting, empowering speak those words do those actions and and now here is another thing do not do not do it with an expectation like okay so i'm just gonna do this and it's like immediately gonna manifest a pile of whatever for me i don't know mountain of gold whatever it is that you want you need to remember that as it is with training your muscle, it takes a moment for the energetic momentum to gather. So you cannot stop in your efforts. You need to, first of all, choose to believe that it's going to work. You have to have the guts, the courage. This is not the work for faint of heart, because oftentimes when we do work like that, we start with this and then some poo poo drops, okay? And that's a part of the process because you are then in a cleansing moment. For example, if, if you have been living rather negative, pessimistic life and you start to steer now with the energies because you are an energetic being, right? You start to steer in your mental field, in your emotional field. Everything around you will start realigning. What must fall will fall. What must clean will clean. The poop will come to the surface. You need to wait it out with faith, with belief, with conviction, with commitment, with courage, and just keep going. And again, as I said, if you need, if you need to really get proof for your ego mind that what I'm saying is not a bunch of doo-doo, 
I suggest, really, really powerfully suggest that you will go to my page, nataliaph.com, bellavetanway.com, and you will check those recommended resources and you will check the science behind it, okay? Check Dr. George Spenza, Dr. Bruce Lipton, Greg Braden, check and listen to their lectures, get their books if you must, Look in the incredible body of research that spans more than 30 years. Dr. Bruce Lipton published his first groundbreaking report in 1977 when I was one years old, okay, telling us that yeah, we can influence the environment around us. And then in turn, we get the results by the way we believe, right? Biology of belief. And how, and this field then gives us back the you know the feedback it's like a mirror so if you need to convince yourself do that please so that is pillar one right accept 100 percent responsibility for the only thing <laughs> believe you me it's enough to control your thoughts your feelings your actions and the words that you speak if you do that and you focus on this upward spiral be motivated by those energies I guarantee that very, very shortly you will be seeing results that you want. Okay. So now, pillar two, Richard, if you go back to those pillars now, please, that's a picture two. Pillar two is all about oneness, right? Those pillars, by the way, the way they were given to me, they were like, it's a back and forth, it's um, like this this never ending process like infinity they are interconnected they are not separate and we can use them whichever way we want back and forth as long as we are leaning on all of them and we are always implementing all of them so the second pillar reminds us we are one in this field of energy so when you are realizing that and really letting it sink in remember that you actually, your actions, your words, your feelings, they all have influence on everything. And you actually are a powerful atomic house, electromagnetic atomic house. Once you activate the energies within you, once you let go of all the limiting belief systems, once you let it go and cut it all loose, you will liberate incredible amounts of light from within you. And you will be more and more uh, observing influence that you have on people around you and your environment. And why that happens? It's because in this field, the way I saw it, we are weaved in and connected, interconnected. When you look at sacred geometry, flower of life, or any other sacred geometry uh, symbols, which are actually the representation of the architecture of the universe, you can see that every single cell every single energy is connected and weaved into other energy you know so that's what that was the powerful reminder of pillar two and then it it really the way i received it was was to really be mindful and embrace the golden rule so do unto others as you would have them do unto you because if I am connected to you, you are connected to me and we are in essence, spiritually speaking, one energy. Why would I want to be a, a meanie, right? The other person. Why would I want to perpetuate those low frequencies? And again, don't get me wrong. Nobody is promoting here being a pushover or a sissy. No, no. We want you to be very powerful commanding co-creators or co-creatresses of your life, of course. However... Being powerful does not mean being mean, not at all. It means being powerful in the libertarian way it means being connected always and forever, connected with divinity within you, your light, your higher self, your heart, because that is, I've shown in previous videos, your, your heart is 5,000 times more powerful magnetically than your brain, okay? and 100 times more powerful than the brain electrically. So, do you know what I'm saying? If, if there would be one place where your light is anchored, that is your heart, okay? And that heart, once it's activated, meaning you tune into it, you listen to it, you speak to it, you, you really meditate and you pray, you do all sorts of processes to connect with that intuitive part of yourself 
you let it out, you, you activate your heart, you listen, you trust, you perpetuate those beautiful frequencies, love-based frequencies, love eternal frequencies. Oh my God, like everything will start to realign around you. And again, if you like the science, check the recommended resources on nataliapeach.com. I'm, I'm going to be nailing it today, like many times, simply because it is the last show and I want you to go there. What did you say, Richard? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So basically that's pillar two, right? So we are halfway there. 100% responsibility and oneness, embracing oneness. And when you do that, you are really... Yeah, very close to commanding your miracles. Third one, live as though, oh, <laughs> there is a, I see that my designer, she mixed them up, but that's okay. The names are still the same. So pillar three is live as though everything is a miracle and pillar four is embrace the love eternal nourishment. But as I said, this is linear representation only for the purpose of explaining. But in fact, in the field, they are not linear they are always and forever interchanging and always flowing in between the spaces, uh, you know, the field, right? And you can use them however you want. There is no linear or order. So since we have it like this, why not? Let's take the pillar, embrace the lovetarian nourishment. So I have been talking about it well, every time throughout all the shows. Lovetarian nourishment, what is the primary form? Well, we, we just nourished our bodies at the beginning of the show. We breathed. <laughs> we took some deep breaths. If you don't breathe, you're done, okay? Five minutes later, well, maybe not five, but 10, you're going to be gone out of your body. So, of course, breathing consciously. When you take a moment, every single moment, every single day, for, you know, five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening. Ideally, do it every hour. But let's start with morning and evening. If you're going to take a moment to take deep conscious breaths, and there I have discussed several different breathing techniques throughout the show. But just for aligning yourself, being very calm, calming your stress response, really having beautiful alignment in your body. If you're going to do it morning and evening, every single day, you will start creating different chemistry in your body. You will start to connect with this beautiful center of yours, with your heart. You will start, who knows what psychic gifts you might have. You are here at Spiritual Psychic CV, but I am here to tell you, you are really a powerful psychic yourself. But, but, but you need to activate that gift. It's not like like that for some people it is yeah they have been they they were born and they were highly activated most of us need to work a little bit on that and there are of course ways to do that and one of the ways is to become very very conscious of your breath meditate ask empowering questions to your heart and sooner or later if you do it long enough persistently enough your heart will start to speak and you will feel you will feel like you're not alone. You will feel like you're connected to everything and everyone. You have your team, you have your spirit guides, you have your um, angels, if you call them that. There is a whole crew that is working with me and there is a whole crew that is just waiting on their powerful little light, you know, lightnings, waiting, waiting for you to call upon them. And they are awesome. So it, this is the best part. You know, we are in the body right now, in this body temple. I'm in mine, you are in yours. However, when we're out of the body, we are connected with everything. And we can use the same power still in the body if we do certain processes, if we embrace lavatory and nourishment, right? If we're going to be practicing conscious breathing, if we're going to be eating well and what i mean by eating well highly vibrational foods remember i mentioned to you that everything is energy right vibrating at its own frequency so i don't necessarily going i'm not going to necessarily tell you just to eat salad all the time no of course not what i mean is eat real food eat intuitively eat when you're hungry don't overeat Eat till you feel like 80% satisfied and then stop and then eat again when you're really hungry. You know, all this nonsense about dieting, all this nonsense about, you know, depriving yourself, it does not work. 
I had 20 plus years of eating disorder and I have only healed myself by the grace of my higher self when I really connected with my light and it told me exactly what I need to do, how I need to think. Yes, embrace the love of eternal nourishment, love myself totally and completely. And then I balanced my energies and I did not need to silence my painful emotions anymore by stuffing my face and then cleansing myself you know that was obviously not very great however it was very empowering because this taught me how to really love myself and showed me how I didn't (laughs) so now I can assist others to do that because I've been I call this moment insanity of the mind for those two decades when I allowed my mind not my heart to guide me and I was living my life then in the need of validation from others showing something that I was not you know pretending to be someone that I was not not being authentic truly authentic playing somebody else's scenarios but not my own so that's a big 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 advice here from me to you from my heart to yours be yourself because think about it if I don't know your situation I don't know who is listening what issues you might have but I would think society in general is overeating, over drinking, abusing all sorts of substances, whether it's actually TV, whether it's, um, yeah, well, you know, you know, I don't need to like name hundred things, but in general, we are not really in touch with our emotions. We do anything to numb the pain, right? Buddha said, I said it many times, pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. And why do we suffer? Because we choose to suffer. I mean, seriously, it's as simple as that. Once we accept 100% responsibility for the fact that we can actually be 100% happy, aligned, fulfilled, at peace, when we do that and we make decisions, we choose to embrace this lovitarian nourishment in your thought, in your feeling, in the way you eat, in the way you speak, in the way you relate to others, which actually are connected with you as you know through this field so in fact yeah we are all one when you do that you will not need to numb the pain because you will not have so much pain in your life anymore because the change really the transformation starts from within you right when you go deep into the temple of your own heart and you start to live more hard based existence that's your magic your magic is the transformation through your heart but you need to command your ego mind you need to say listen little one because the heart is the big one in my vocabulary listen little one i command you to now surrender to the power to the infinite power ever knowing power of my heart the ancient wisdom of my heart my higher self my light i command it and then (laughs) since you do have free will every single day you've got to do it over and over again and when you stray do not judge we all human errare humanum is that to err is human so just cut yourself some slack and go again recalibrate come back to the zero space reset take deep breaths remember we talked about it in many shows breath will balance you breath will clean your energy fields your mental body your emotional body and you will be able to start again forgive yourself choose to rebirth embrace some lovitarian nourishment take a breath drink some water eat some good nourishing food and go again and choose to think lovely thoughts about yourself and the world and choose to focus on feelings that make you feel like you want to move mountains you know that is a choice that is a choice and if you don't believe that it is a choice it's because you have been chemically at this moment addicted to negativity and suffering because it is a very simple mechanism our body is a beautiful machine and if you have been perpetuating certain behaviors certain thoughts certain feelings you have created certain neural pathways in your brain and now you are like a little robot 
and you are actually working on default and you are firing the same circuits over and over and over again in your brain. And here's good news. Neuroplasticity today tells us 100% you can create new wires. If you're 75 years old, it doesn't matter. You can start thinking new thoughts. You can start feeling new feelings. You can speak other words. You can embrace the lovitarian nourishment and you can accept 100% responsibility for your life. You can command your mind, no matter what it tells you, you can command it to be an awesome, fabulous lovitarian, you know, starting right now. And then you do again and again and again and again. And just as this muscle, it will grow more powerful, more powerful, and your heart will get stronger and stronger and stronger. And it will speak through you, for you, for the benefit of all. Boom, period. That's how it is. And you actually, as I said, the, 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 the key to this whole shebang is that you choose to believe that it is so. When you command your little one, <laughs> your little mind to align like that, you must do it with such conviction as, it, as if it is already done. There is to be zero doubt, okay? And I know it's practice because as we just said, you have been chemically, chemically addicted. Your biology have been hijacked by certain ways you've been thinking and creating up until now. The good news is, so what? We have all been there. If I could have recovered from 20 plus years of eating disorder, OMG, anybody can do it, you know, because I have been seriously, <laughs> seriously polluted. And, you know, um, my brain has been working on completely different frequencies. But slowly, 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 the process was reversed. I have reversed it. Nobody has done it for me. I have listened to the guidance and backed it by research and slowly, 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 I have been healing, right? And within a year, boom, it was done. And now it's history. It is something that I use to empower other people to rebuild their lives. And it's not only been in my health, it's been in my finances, it's been in relationships, everywhere. I have been very clear what kind of man I want to marry. I have been very clear what kind of money I want to have. I have been very clear what I want to do. Not 20 years ago, okay? But I had glimpses. And once I got clear 13 years ago, I created very clear intentions with my dream boards, with my uh, intentions. And I have been like a maniac literally like a many because it requires slight obsession i've got to tell you passion you saw on the vibrational scale it's pretty high up there you've got to have a conviction courage passion and you've got to eliminate any distractions anyone that tells you otherwise you tell them it's your truth it's not my truth my truth is that i can do it and you need to have compassion to other people i mean they choose to live and suffer that is their choice you are choosing to be reborn and you you are choosing to create the most awesome life that you can live and nobody tells you you can't nobody only you can do that you are a sovereign powerful being that can command your own mind to align okay moreover moreover you can command the higher self of yours, this powerful part of yourself, this power, atomic powerhouse, electromagnetic powerhouse that you are as well, that you may be not yet fully realizing that you are, you can say, higher self, I command it. And I command it as it is done. And I thank you. Because when you look at the scale of frequencies I showed you again, gratitude and appreciation is really highly up there. Knowledge is really highly up there. So you've got this now, you've got all this power. I have given you so much. All you need to do is take 100% responsibility and embody it in your word, in your thought, in your feeling and practice, practice, practice every single day. And every single day you wake up in the morning and say, I command my mind to align to my heart. And I command this beautiful higher self of mine to 
show me the magic, show me how it is done, show me the way, show me my miracles, give me the evidence of how this is working. And it is done, it is done, it is done. Amen. Amen, by the way, it's not, nothing to do with religion. It's an ancient word and it translates into it is so, it is done, right? And I really suggest now and before that we use ancient words, you know, Sanskrit words, um, Hebrew words, Aramaic words, because they are very powerful. The frequency of those words influences the field even more powerful than some English words, simply because they have been given to different people throughout history in very highly, um, in a very highly awakened states, like yogic masters received it, Buddha received it, Jesus received it, they received those words so that we can communicate even clearer with that field. And that field is what? One big quantum soup of vibrational energies. And when you, in your word, in your thought, in your feeling, align with the frequencies that you want. So let's say you have an, your beautiful house, your beautiful relationship, whatever is already vibrationally there. And it's not going to just magically descend upon you if you are not going to increase your energy and align with that. And once you do that, with the courage, with the conviction, with the belief. It's like, seriously, like you and your own like tunnel, creative tunnel. If you do that and you command it every single day, you command your mind, you command this beautiful higher self of yours and you consider it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. And you maintain it long enough, creating this energetic momentum. There is zero, I mean, there's zero doubt that it is so because the moment you have asked it's already delivered and i know it i've got my money i've got my men i've got my help and i keep creating like a maniac more and more and more and am i a perfect creatrix well yes i've been created perfect i have my own limiting beliefs that i still am of course releasing However, most people, when they look at my life, they think, yeah, this girl is pretty brainwashed. <laughs> How does she do it? I don't know, but I do. So you can do it. I can do it. I'm no better than you, okay? I have just been really listening to the wiser ones that my little mind, I've been listening to my team in light. I've been listening to my higher self. I have been initiating with the powerhouses, the dragon tribe, the ascended masters I told you about of the Sophia code. I had my angelic guides. And of course, then I found the research. If my left brain, right? If my brain, if my logical mind needed a proof, I have found that too in thousands and thousands of hours of research. Again, go to the recommended resources at my website and you will have everything that you need to absolutely, absolutely live the life that you, you want to live. I mean, th there is not a single person. I, I mean, I don't care. I, I mean, I, I have compassion. However, I'm just going to say, I don't care what kind of excuses you might possibly have. You might be very, very sick. You might have think you've lost someone. You might be going through some divorce or something. I'll tell you, there's millions and millions of people going through the craziest of circumstances to the human mind. And they have been able to create the life of their dreams and have a completely fresh new start in this heaven on earth realities. I had myself clients who have lost children, who have lost the loved ones, who have lost all their money, all their health, and they thought that it is, this is it. But somehow in this field, they found help. They have been magnetized to me. I did not go looking for them. My prayer, my intention is play, Higher self, play divine music through me for the benefit of all. Whomever I am here to help, I'm helping myself. So let's go. So the more I help, the more I help myself because we are what? We are one. We are all connected. I don't know who, but someone said that altruism is the highest form of egoism. 
sounds as it sounds, it is actually kind of true because when you really consider that all is one and all energy is really one energy and we're just like having this illusion of separation because our ego tells us so. So if I'm really very super altruistic and I'm giving and I'm enjoying, by the way, you have to enjoy it. I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying I'm, I'm in the state of bliss, right? Well, then of course, of course, it's amazing, right? To all parties involved. It's a win-win-win solution, as I call it. Simple as that. All right, so let's go to the last pillar, which is actually, we had a little reversed order, but again, they are not linear. So live as though everything is a miracle. But I think this already, what I said, is kind of self-explanatory. Thanks, Richard, for that. Why not? We can keep that for a while too. But that last pillar was all about um the third pillar was about living as though no 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 problem because i will need that anyway living as though everything is a miracle because again on that vibrational scale that we talked about living in awe living in bliss living in appreciation and admiration living in those high frequencies this is a recipe this is a recipe for a happy fulfilling life where when you are maintaining this kind of frequency, when you are, you, you, you know, first of all, you know that magic is you, yeah? You are the magic, the light within you is you, you are that magic, the light is shining through you, for you, and <laughs> that's what you came here to do, to shine your uniqueness, right? For the benefit of all, of course, because all is one, haha, <laughs> right? And you live like that in this state of continuous awe and beauty and uh, appreciation well that you know universe that that field has no other option but to mirror back that back to you so when you get a gift from someone what do you say thank you right so here what you're doing by living though as everything is a miracle you're saying thank you in advance you wake up in the morning and i say i wake up in the morning i say thank you for the blessings on the way to me now thank you I command my magic. I command my miracles. Show me how it's done. Show it to me. And it is done. It is done. It is done. And I assume, literally, I assume the best possible outcome. As one of my mentors says, uh, Brian D. Ridgway, um, uh, what, is it, what does he call it? ABC of spirituality. Always, always benevolence. Yeah, assume benevolence constantly. A, B, C, assume benevolence constantly. So, of course, if you do that, by simple law, by simple law, you will be having a wonderful life. So, have I told you enough how to command your magic and miracles? Maybe let's, let's like put it all together. So, you've got your four pillars. You know that they are all based on what? Unconditional love, because you are love, you're made of love. Our creative creator is unconditional love. There is no judgment. All this is nonsense. Limiting belief systems, societal programming, all this stuff is weaved into this field and you are replaying those programs over and over and over until what? You become 100% conscious, aware, of the fact that you have been actually unconscious and you've been playing somebody else's game, not creating your own. And now you will say, okay, I'm going to choose to recalibrate myself. I'll take 100% responsibility and I will decide and I will choose to control my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions. Not that you're going to be a robot, by the way. I mean, like you can't control 50,000 thoughts that are like in your field. But what you can do by control, I mean, you become super, super aware and conscious. If something is not going right, you need to stop, you need to pause, take a deep breath and see what have, I, what have I been thinking, what I have been doing, what kind of feedback am I getting? Because remember, it's not about the other person. Other person have their own life to deal with. You have your life and this is your life, 100% your life, your energies, those you need to be mindful of and those you need to be aware of. And once you do that 100% of times and you command yourself to act, think, feel from those high, high vibrations, right? Everything will realign in time. Of course, time is an illusion in this beautiful 
quantum field, there is no past, there is no future, there's only this one present moment. Tomorrow is the next present moment, so let's get that in our heads as well. So if you're going to be super present in this now moment, and you're going to be very mindful about the energies you're exuding, energies you take in, so don't you watch news, okay, and pound yourself with bloody murder and war and poverty and whatnot. Do you want that? Huh? You know, it's called program for a reason. It's programming you that that's what life is all about. Well, that's not what my life is all about. Is this what your life is all about? This is for you to choose because we were given a free will. So you literally... And according to new biology, quantum physics, all this fabulous science, this is exact recipe to create the most amazing life and command your magic. You need to, yeah, I'm just going to say it, you need to brainwash yourself by those concepts and you need to practice them over and over again and create new circuits in your brain and you need to activate the new level of your mind empowered by the beauty in your heart the light in your heart and then you need to never look again into the past well you can look at the past but without emotional attachment to suffering you only look in the past for wisdom wisdom lessons and all that but never with like oh my god why did i why did they blah 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 i mean come on now enough haven't you suffered enough I have, and I stopped at a certain point because I was just exhausted. I was like, who tells me that I must suffer? Who tells me that I must beat the drama of the drama over and over again? Nobody. I am a sovereign being and I can choose. Seriously. And I have been consistently doing so and creating new wires in my mind that my mind works on completely different frequency, most of the time on very high frequencies. And when I, here's the thing, here's also a very, very important thing. We need to be able to, we are humans, right? So there will be pain. There will be pain. <laughs> That's like a given. That's like human pain etched in our game that we're playing here as humans. So when the pain comes, when those negative emotions come, you don't tell them, go and <clears throat> yourself. You observe them because here's the thing. Taking 100% responsibility for your life means that you are a conscious observer conscious conscious become conscious of the unconscious so when the pain comes that means that there have been some something that happened for you through you in the past in this lifetime or other lifetime who knows and what does it matter anyway you don't need to spend 10 years at the psychiatrist's office to figure that one out you can just become very conscious and look at this with a lot of breathing calm breathing like we did this heart brain coherence breathing you observe it, you take a little pen and paper and you start making notes for yourself and you can do a little self-inquiry and ask yourself, so what happened there? What really happened? And look, do your best to look at this objectively without emotions, without blame, without judgment, just like one plus one equals two. And the algorithm of co-creation that I have given you throughout many shows, I'm just going to repeat it again. So... In the algorithm, we're looking at the way that we create life mathematically. So we were given this formula. Energy of thought plus energy of emotion creates a feeling. So whatever thoughts you have, you had, they always, those that were creative, created your life. They were empowered by emotion and by Again, ancient teachers, quantum physics, we're told that there are two predominant fields of emotions, right? The positive one and the negative one, or, or if you want to call it like field of love and field of fear, right? So the thought was empowered by other something deriving from fear, darkness, right? Or something deriving from love, light, and those higher frequencies. And when these two, two got together, Feeling was created in our body. And then there was a state. You were in a state of being, right? If something you think a thought right now, whatever it is, and then see how you feel. And then you can see this process right, right this moment, right? You are in a state of being. And from the state, we act. And we can act either as conscious creators, because we're very aware, 
about what we are doing, or we can be like, you know, program little robots running around on default because we have not changed our software and we are still polluted with viruses, just like computers are. There is no conscious awareness there. We have not clean cleansed. We have not cleared our consciousness. All those limiting beliefs through time and space are floating in our energy field, in our mental body, emotional body, throughout the entire being of ours. And they are running the show. But now you say, no, 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 stop, pause, breathe, become conscious, accept 100% responsibility, and activate that little formula in a conscious way. So um, journaling, introspection, self-inquiry on paper. My favorite teacher, one of my favorite teachers, Byron Katie, says war belongs on paper. So you play a little game with yourself and you make notes and you honestly, with an open heart, without judgment, you journal and you journal your experiences from the past and you see what wisdom you can draw from there without emotion. Applying this little formula. Please rewatch previous shows to refresh, refresh all those all those things that I've been talking about. I, I can't possibly replay 10 shows. However, they are all recorded and you can find them all on, on this beautiful portal. You can find them also on my on my page, right? So how much time have we got? Well, I think I was going on as always. Are there any questions or did I just completely go on the on the roll? No questions? Well, but silence is golden, right? <laughs> Whatever they say. So I'll take it as a good sign. So just to end, you know, really commanding your miracles. To summarize, no that you are a powerful being of love and light, powerful electromagnetic atomic atomic bomb. And you can explode, as a positive word, explode your life from inside out and bloom, okay? If you choose to plant beautiful seeds in your consciousness, beautiful thoughts, beautiful feelings, speak beautiful words, and do beautiful actions every day, perform beautiful actions. And there is a great wisdom also in Tao Te Ching that says, do nothing, leave nothing, and then. In other words, if you are not aligned, if you're not at peace, if you're not at zero, if you're not in a Zen right moment, if you're not clear and clear about what to do, do not do anything because you really have a moment always to recalibrate. I'm not talking about emergencies. You know very well if there's an emergency, the instinct will kick in. You don't need to think about anything. We're talking about conscious co-creation and commanding your miracles, right? So do nothing, leave nothing, and then until you're ready to take conscious control, command your mind to align to your heart, command your higher self as if it was done, have a clear intention what it is that you want and you align everything, all your energies, your thoughts, your feelings, your actions, your words. And whenever negativity comes, whenever pain comes, boom, war belongs on paper. Get on making notes, get on analyzing yourself on paper, be your own psychoanalyst, be your own therapist and see what wisdom you can draw bring up the formula of the algorithm and say, oh, okay, so I've been thinking that thought, I've been feeling that feeling, I've been in that state. That's what I was acting like. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to be very conscious. I'm going to take a breath. I'm going to reassess. I'm going to look at those four pillars and what I was talking about. I'm going to nourish my being and I'm going to do something else. And I'm going to do it over and over and over again. And soon enough, my mind is going to be acting completely differently because my brain is going to be really, really freshy, and it doesn't matter, again, if you're 70, 80, or 90, it's been shown by the science, brain scans and all, anybody can do it at any moment in time. All this thing about aging and not a myth, okay? Aging, Dr. Lipton, bi biology of belief, aging exists only because collectively we have believed it to be so. But you know very well, there are people within us, doesn't matter if they're 100 years old, they are like teenagers, okay? They are very fresh, they are very vibrant. I know them myself. Apparently, I don't know which book it was, one of Joe Dispenza's book, 
the longest living human was 247 years old, recorded history. He had 47 wives and many, many, many grandchildren. I don't know if I would like to be in his shoes, right? But yet he has been recorded. There's a lovely picture. There is a historical record of him. He was a Chinese herbologist. So the dude must have been pretty chill eh, to make it that far. <laughs> but my point with this is that whatever your mind can believe, and conceive you can achieve and empower that empower that with the energy of your heart and it will be like greg braden said i think i quoted him last time from a scene manuscripts when the three become one so the energy of the thought feeling and emotion when the three become one you tell the mountain to move and the mountain moves so you literally can by alignment of your energies you can start to bend this, you know, energies in the field, the matrix, and it will start bringing you tangible results, whether it's the money, the health, the husband, whatever you want. It will be so only if you command it as so you command your mind to align with the vision, with your intention, and you will practice, practice, practice nourishing your body and all your energies. I'm going to be quiet now. I'm talked out. I'm going to bid you good night. I'm going to send you love and light from my heart to yours. And I'll invite you to join me next week on the Levitarian Way podcast, where I'm going to be talking about transcendental meditation with an amazing teacher who's been teaching this since 1976. I was born in 1976. So there's some wisdom there. And of course, check the resources, infinite resources at thelovagenway.com, nataliaph.com. It's been my joy and pleasure to serve you and to be with you for those last 10 episodes. And I'll see you later, wherever I'll see you. Have a lovely evening. Hasta whenever. Namaste all. Bye-bye. Later tonight, we are joined by another wonderful guest to host an evening of free readings on our popular show, Live with Spirit. The show starts from 8 p.m. Tomorrow morning from 11 a.m., Brie Wilson continues with her show, Influencing Your Life. Brie offers her own guidance and advice, while supporting you with everyday situations, past life readings, and future support. Tomorrow night from 8 p.m. we have an evening of free mediumship readings with Bill Hughes and his guest. Our regular fortnightly show, Collective Consciousness offers our viewers an opportunity to receive messages from their loved ones.